message from the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Okay, uh, we ready to get started? Okay. All right. Uh, my name is Will Franken, and oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah, my name is Will Franken, and I'm okay. Sorry. Yes, my name is Will Franken. Yeah. Franken. Run a bathtub full of hot water and take a package of razor blades and run them this way instead of that way. It's not a cry for help, it's the real thing. <laughs> it's not Tori Amos, it's the, it's the real thing. Um, when I have nights like that, I like to retreat to a special place that I've carved out inside my mind, known as the ongoing circus. If you get to know the chorus, yeah. you to know the chorus want to sing along, it goes a bit like this. <laughs> Mr. Jumbo Elephant, where are you going? I'm going to the circus today. <laughs> Mr. Stripey Tiger, where are you going? I'm going to the circus today. <laughs> Mr. Polar Bear, where are you going? I'm going to the circus today. <laughs> Mr. Alligator, where are you going? I'm going to the circus today. All the animals go to the circus. The circus is a fun place to be. Without the circus, the earth would collapse. We'd fall into the galaxy. For BBC News, I'm Tricity Bendix. Our top story, a fire at a Soho nightclub has left 25 people dead. The result of the patrons not being able to tell the difference between the fire alarm and the shitty music. <laughs> well, that was very, a lot of different, different sort of, a lot of. <laughs> Let's take a look at the word drug, all right? The word drug is what's called an anarchist, acronym. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's funny. Yeah. <laughs> the show I'm talking about can be broken down into small words. D R U G. D stands for drug. Okay, a drug is a drug. A drug's not a table. A drug's not a chair. You can you cannot sit on it unless it's an opium suppository. And the kids are not into that. Either. A drug is what it is. Okay. Right. Now, how long have you been doing this? Ah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> R stands for rug. That's where you're going to end up laying down if you take a drug. Right? Take a drug, you're going to hit the rug. Okay? Now, do you do all the writing and the reading and you spell your own name? Ah! Ah! <laughs> U stands for ug. That's the sound you're going to make after you hit the rug when taking a drug. Take a drug, hit the rug, you go ug. Okay? I would like to present to you the international symbol for bisexuality. Now, where do you usually do your ah? Oh, oh. G stands for gun. <laughs> That's one of the words, the crazy kind of words that you're going to start using. If you take drugs. Okay, so you take a drug, you hit the rug, you go ugh because you said gun. Okay? <laughs> this is going to save your life one more. <laughs> Every 60 seconds in America, a minute goes by. Well, anyway, good luck with it. Oh. Drug, drug, gun, gun. Oh, shit. Um, first off, I'd like to say thank you to all the members of the press for uh, making it down here on such a short notice. Um, Basically, what we're going to do now is uh, tell you all the information as we have it, and then um, open it up for questions. Um, the information that we have at this time is that uh, approximately 15 to 20 seconds ago, 
a ballpoint pen uh, fell three feet from my left hand and uh, landed uh, onto the floor of the stage. Uh, we, we do believe the pen is still functional. Uh, that is to say that if, if we were to pick it up, uh, it would still probably write. That is the information that we have at this moment. Um, I'll go ahead and open it up for questions. Uh, yes? What sort of pen was it? Uh, we believe it to be a, a blue ink, uh, big for paper made, nothing fancy from a stationary store, just something you get in a Walgreens or a regular uh, discount store. Uh, yes? Yes? Over here. Yes. Over here. Kathy Sinclair for the East Bay Daily Weekly. Are there any plans for your pieces to pick up the pen? Uh, there are no immediate uh, plans in the future to actually bend over and pick up the pen. Uh, we feel um, pretty distraught that it's sort of interrupted the flow of the show. Uh, we would ideally not like to make this a bigger thing than it needs to be. <laughs> Mr. White Trash Redneck, where are you going? I'm gone to the circus today, dickhead. <laughs> Mr. British Butler, where are you going? I'm going to the circus today, <laughs> Mr. Native American, where are you going? I am going to the circus today. <laughs> Mr. Campy Queen, where are you going? I'm going to the circus today, Mr. Quizzy. All the characters go to the circus. The circus is a fun place to be. It's a fun place. Without the circus, the earth would collapse. We fall into the galaxy. Do you like hot, wet, drippy pussies? <laughs> Are you ready for the most fantastic cum-filled night you've <laughs> How would you like to jizz all over your cum? <laughs> if you like hot girl-on-girl -girl dominatrix action, then come to the Berkeley Center for Cultural Expression. <laughs> With me today are three very, very brave survivors who are going to show us how they have survived and how we might learn from those who have survived. Surviv survive. <laughs> Let's start with my first guest. No, let's start with my last. <clears throat> last guest is Charles Davis, one of the fathers of one of the children who was burnt to death in one of the fires in one of the schools in one of the cities of this country. <laughs> The book dealing with the death of his son, Charred Beyond Recognition, is <laughs> due to hit shelves uh, this Friday. Let me start by asking, Charred? <laughs> Charles? <laughs> if your son could be here with you today, what would you say? Son could be here with me today, sir. Oh my god, I thought you were dead. No. <laughs> person, person, my thing is doing that thing again. Why did this have to happen on the night of my event? Don't worry, person, I brought along brand name. Because I'm a person, when something happens to the other person, I'm always prepared with brand name. Studies show that brand name contains more ingredient than other brand name and other brand name combined. Person, person, my thing isn't doing that thing anymore. Now I can go to my event. So try brand name. After all, a certain number out of a certain number of people agree, brand name is the brand name in brand names. Brand name for all your brand name needs. Mr. Fragan, uh, in the last uh, several weeks, we've uh, talked about your ongoing feelings of... <laughs> <laughs> depression and low self-esteem, and uh, we've examined a few options available to us, uh, talk therapy and medication being two of those. Unfortunately, neither of those seems to have had the effect we might have desired, and I wonder if today we might not want to look at a third option and see if something like uh, suicide... <laughs> Psychoanalysis, Mr. Sigmund Freud. I'm about to find a father, but I'm a daddy to a lot of babies. My name is Sigmund Freud. Yo, know, people say Sigmund, what's that psycho hoody booty shit on the I'm gonna tell you something, I believe everything is about the pussy. Okay? And I believe to get the pussy, you 
got to understand the motherfucker. <laughs> Mr. Christopher Walken, where are you going? I'm going to the circus. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Marlon Brando, where are you going? I'm going to the circus today, boy. <laughs> Mr. Crispin Glover, where are you going? I'm going to the circus today. <laughs> Mr. Stephen Hawking, where are you rolling? I'm rolling to the circus today. <laughs> around morning time over in the east, I see it like almost kind of on a daily basis. I would describe it as a real bright yellow circle. It will move from one end of the sky all the way to the other. Real slow. Like, take like a whole day. This thing is so bright, it will light up like the whole earth. Isn't it possible you're describing the sun. I do not know what it's called, I know what it's seen. <laughs> we've notified the government, we've notified the Air Force, and they're just acting like this is the most normal thing in the world. <laughs> because I would suggest to you that you're probably describing the sun. The only sun I know is the Son of God. <laughs> Goodbye, Elton John's. <laughs> no, I never knew me at all. To hold myself while those around me fall. They fall down of the airplane. When the glitter began to rain, I was born Reginald, but I made me change my name. And it seems to me I live my life like a candle in the snow. This boy Based of the murdered Messiah. <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth, a carpenter by day, magician by night. Did his tricks go too far? Far enough for murder. Come on, folks, this should be easy. It's not like we're making fun of Jesus or anything. <laughs> the Holy Bible claims it was meant to happen this way. Was it biblical prophecy or was it?
He beat them over the head And when he was sure they were dead He'd rape their little corpses That was his choice Freedom of choice Let me hear you, San Francisco. You've reached the living room. Our normal office hours are from 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m., Monday through Tuesday. To leave a message for William Franken, press 1. To leave a message for Boat Mahoney, press 2. To leave a message for Press 3. To learn about everything, press 4. And if you ever get lost in the program and want to return to the main menu, don't know any of the extensions, all too fucking much, what the fuck are you gonna do, Jesus fucking Christ? We got this other fucking option. It's called option zero. Option zero. Just press the zero button to get up at the main menu. It's brilliant. Just press zero. Just press zero. Just press zero. Hi. You've reached the living room. Our normal office hours are from 8 a.m. to 8.30 a.m., Monday through Tuesday. To leave a message for William Franken, press 1. To leave a message for Boat Mahoney, press 2. Hi. This is Boat Mahoney. I'm either away from my desk, or under my desk, or cowering next to my desk, or hovering just inches above my desk. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Greta Thunberg. Hamid, <laughs> where are you, Hamid? I see a light. So we have a set on poltergeist. One second. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I go on my Twitter, my freeborn Englishman's right to Twitter, enshrined in the Magna Carta, the most important freedom of speech thing a man can have. And I go on there and I use my freedom of intelligence and freedom of speech to say something provocative, intelligent, and profound. I see I want to come all over Diane Abbott's face and make her have to come off her own island. Having autism means the whole world must revolve around me. But if there is no world, I will have to revolve around myself. And 20 seconds later, some fucking snowflake comes on and says, you're a bit rude. <laughs> is that fun enough for you, you fucking whore? This is not Greta. This is the hand. Mr. Stand-Up Comic, where are you going? So I'm going to the circus today, and I'm thinking women are different than men, and blacks are different than whites. <laughs> Mr. Masturbator, where are you going? <laughs> Mr. Backwards Record, where are you going? <laughs> It's your turn now. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Audience Members, where are you going? We're going to the circus today. Everybody goes to the circus. The circus is a fun place to be. Without the circus, the earth would collapse. We fall into the galaxy. No, we can't for Johnny 
voice for it. You've been a lovely audience. In fact, there really is no need to continue doing this accent. I don't need to pretend to be anybody. I am now whole and complete. There's no need to finish this bit, really, either. It's, I don't need to keep pretending this poor woman's my father. And, and, you see, ladies and gentlemen, the sad truth is, you guys have been such a wonderful audience that the worst thing that could have ever happened to a comedian has just happened to me. I've become happy. 